everybody, this is Bliss Beauty by Brandy, and welcome to your midweek wake up. Today we are getting ready for a photo shoot as a makeup artist. The look that I'm doing today is just a slightly more elevated look for my daily makeup. First we are starting off with the 4th Ray Mellow Milk Mist to add a little bit of moisture to our skin. My skin is oily combination, I'm extremely oily in my T-zone area, my forehead, nose, and chin, across my cheekbones. So I don't do a lot of moisture just because it can get kind of greasy. Next we're going in with the 4th Ray the Daily Eye Cream. Just kind of add a little puffy upness to the under eye area so that people don't realize that we are absolutely exhausted, haven't slept yet, and that we have a one year old toddler. We're going to pat this in with our fourth finger or our ring finger just because it's the least amount of pressure that you can apply to your eyes and to tap it in, smooth it in, and not get any premature wrinkles. Next we're going to go in with our L'Oreal Magic Perfecting Base. This is a primer and unpopular opinion. Primer is face care, or skin care rather. So I don't do my full skin care routine before my makeup if I know I'm using a primer. What I love about this primer is it's a pore filling and sort of an oil blocking primer. I don't seem to ever get oily when I'm using this primer, so I really like it. Fills in my pores, makes my skin nice and smooth, and it holds my makeup on like almost like a glue. Um, my face products don't move throughout the day. I can get about eight to twelve, eight to ten hours of good wear without having to touch up. Twelve is pushing it, depending on what foundation and concealers I use on top of said primer me thinking I got a pimple on my nose but just the light but we're just gonna continue smoothing this on the face under the chin and down the neck Now we're going to speed things up a bit for the actual makeup routine. Now I'm going in with the Bally Body BB Cream for the face in the shade Pan. This also has SPF 15 so this is great for daily daytime use as far as helping in protecting your skin from sun damage. I'm also using this in the shade Tan which I know A, the foundation or the BB Cream rather doesn't look very tan. And with the lighting, I don't look very tan. However, where I have been working out at the gym, they offer free tanning with the membership that I have, and I have been taking advantage of that. Do not come for me. I know sunless tanning, or sunbed tanning rather, is bad for the skin. I still like to do it. It's also great after a good workout, and it's just what I want to do. I moisturize like crazy, trust me. But we're just going to blend this into the skin and work it down the neck. Now we're going to go in with the Beauty Treats Concealer Palette. I am going in with the lightest of the dark shades. There's three dark shades, three light shades, and two color correctors. A yellow and an orangey salmon-y color for color correcting. Uh, but I'm going in with the lightest of the dark colors just for some subtle contouring and bronzing because it is on the warmer side compared to the other two shades in the palette. I'm going to go in and contour my nose because I do that on every makeup routine, even my daily. Got 
make sure my nose is snatched. I'm going to blend this in with my MAC 130 SE brush. Um, you can't get exa this exact brush anymore. It is a special edition, hence the SE. You still can get the MAC 130 brush though. I believe they still carry it at the MAC counters. If not, I will link it below where you can purchase it for yourself from MAC.com or something along those lines. But we're just going to blend this in. It's going to look a bit harsh until we get to the setting powder. Uh, trust me, when I put on the setting powder, you'll still see some bronzing and contouring, but it won't be as dramatic as it looks right now. Now we are dipping back into the Beauty Treats Concealer Palette, because I forgot what it was called, and we're going to go in with the lightest concealer shade. And we're not going to do a full triangle like some makeup artists do, where they go all under the eye and then the point of the triangle goes down towards your cheekbone. I'm just doing this closest to my nose, just under my eye, and then you'll see in a, just a second that I'll take it from the inner part of my eye, or the middle part of my under eye, and wing it out under my eye and then blend it. This will give me a lifted look without having to use eyeliner or more additional contouring. And then without the large inverted triangle with the point going down towards my cheek, my eyes will be brightened, but it's not going to make my eyes look more sallow by tugging it down by doing that. I do occasionally do that triangle trick, but I usually do that on a slightly more dramatic look, usually with a full coverage foundation or an extremely dramatic eye look. This just gives me a more lifted and concealed look, makes me look more awake and more alive. Because coffee was not helping on this day. I am blending out the concealer with the Juvia's Place J221 Small Complexion Brush. It's light, fluffy, it doesn't hold on to product but it blends it out so nicely and gives it almost like that movie-esque quality what's the word I'm looking for filtered look that's what I'm looking for going on with the Juvia's Place lip balm in the shade slash flavor caramel and it's literally on the very very last leg considered scooping it out but didn't want to make the mess with my fingernails Next we are going in with the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Setting Powder in White Sands. What I like about it is you can see it on my face and it looks super light, but when you blend it out, it diffuses beautifully. It blends my concealer and my foundation and makes them stay perfectly down, nice and matte for my skin type being that I am oily, but it also diffuses out my contour without having to go in with more bronzing powder in this look. It just diffuses it out so it doesn't look so harsh or so warm. So I'm still contoured and I still have that definition without having to go in with even more products. Because let's be honest, the faster we can get out the door with some makeup on, the better. Next, I am taking this old Merle Norman blush brush. It was my grandmother's, so it holds sentimental value, but I am going in with this blush brush and the Coastal Sense 26 Shadow and Blush Palette. I'm going in with the lightest pink shade on my cheeks, just to add the smallest bit of color so I don't look dead. But just putting that on the apples of my cheeks and blending that up towards my hairline to give me a slightly more elevated and lifted look with my cheekbones a little across my nose because like I said just need a little bit of color kind of want to look like I've had some Sun and then next going in with the Juvia's Place the tribe highlighter in volume 3 what I love about this highlighter it's a very pale champagne with light silver and light gold flecks of shimmer it just gives you that nice light look like the light is bouncing off your skin without any light being involved. It's also a good highlighter that you can build up to get that 
glossy wet glassy look um, to achieve that I usually will freshly mist my face with some setting spray and then go heavy with the highlighter but this look is not calling for that today now we're gonna do our brows I don't understand why I did my brows I don't even understand why I did any contouring on my forehead I have bangs now so all of this is literally about to be covered by the end of the video but we are going in with the brows super quick and simple just the NYX micro brow pencil and espresso and then followed up with the essence lash and brow mascara in clear just the basic of the basic this is not a full-fledged glam look so I'm not going in with pomades and powders and trying to do definition and lighter to darker I just want my brows to have a shape because with the pandemic I have not been able to see anybody to get my brows taken care of and although they are sparse and not a lot there they are crazy and they have lost all shape and I am hopeless so I have to literally draw my shape on Alright, now we are going in with the eyeshadow. We are literally only using one color on this look. We are going back into that Coastal Scents palette, and we are just taking the... On my palette, it seems to be the very first shade. I'm pretty sure all the palettes are standard, if I link this one down below for you. Um, we're just going in this with this really pretty antique gold with gold glitter. We're just putting it all over the lid, in the crease, and just above the crease, and diffusing it out as well as on the bottom lash line. Um, like I said, this is just a super quick, slightly more elevated from my daily look. I am not using eyeliner today, I'm not using fake lashes, I'm doing a quick in and out, be done, and get ready to run out the door. We're going back in with that highlighter, the Tribe Volume 3, just highlighting under the brow bone again adding more lift to the brows curling the lashes because my lashes are kind of straight kind of curly they curl at the very tips but the rest of it just kind of sticks straight out now we are going in with a coat of mascara but a nice good thick coat of mascara I would love to be able to tell you what the brand name of this mascara is but I am part of a survey group where you occasionally get some free products to test out, you know, because who doesn't love being a lab rat for new makeup? Um, but I really do like this mascara for a good daily look. Um, it lengthens and separates, um, has a small little ball on the end, not very pronounced, but it does have a small ball on the end where you can take it and separate out your lashes if they do get a bit clumpy. It's a nice, good, dark, like blackest black mascara, so it very much adds nice color. Um, two to three coats will give you a good amount of volume. One coat wasn't very voluminous for me. Um, so just one coat for today. Bottom and top lashes. Do what you want. Some people say not to put mascara on your bottom lashes. I do both. And now we're almost done with the makeup look. We're going in with the LA Girl Perfect Precision Lip Liner in Nude. That has just been my thing lately, so to speak, is I just love a pale nude lip. Not a frosty 90s lip, but just a pale nude, a pale matte nude, or a pale glossy nude. So I'm going in with the nude lip liner, and it's literally like one shade lighter than my Skin, skin tone color but with the lighting it definitely looks like it's the exact same color like I've got some concealer lips going on but hey wet hair dry hair so like I said don't understand why I contoured at all or did my eyebrows I have bangs 
Finally, we're going in with the ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip and Menagerie. It's really just a pale nude lip gloss. It uh, has a little bit of color, but has some really pretty gold sparkles in it. Just adds the right amount of gloss to the lips, and it kept me moisturized for the entire makeup session at the photo shoot. So, here's the final product. Thank you, like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.